Yo, we are starting Rusty Bucket B now, so let's go. Okay, are, are we actually recording? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh no. Wait, let me minimize OBS so I don't have two of the thing going. Whatever will I find. <coughs> My oh. brother and I were huge into these little <laughs> win. Yeah. I okay, forgot so that I, I had a win move. <laughs> I think we decided last time that you uh, I just wanted to just kind of wander yeah. and yeah, I'll just warn you when you're near bullshit. So the first thing that uh, catches my attention are these windows, because they seem like they should be ground poundable. Um, that's probably a good thing to think. Except, uh, it doesn't seem I can stand on it. <laughs> oh, maybe I have to beak buster them or beak bomb. Where, where the fuck the flying one is? I don't know the names of these moves. The flying one is Beak Bomb. The Ground Pound is Beak Buster. Do I have to Beak Bomb? Uh, no. Also, you can't actually break that one. Uh -huh. It'll be obvious when you can break them. Okay. Did that, uh, did that exploding box do two damage? No. <laughs> but the fucking, uh, like, Chompies can. What the fuck they called? The, uh, extremely scary. <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know for the record, that's a clip from Zooks. But actually, it's a clip from some, like, reaction YouTuber, originally. But we got it from Zooks. And by we, I mean... I showed the thing to Josh, who may or may not have seen it before. I think I had seen it before, but I kind of forgot about it. Yeah, it's one of my favorite YouTube poops. I'm enjoying this fucking oil in the uh, in the water. It kind of reminds me of uh, you played a little bit of Skyrim, right? Do you remember how there just randomly be oil spills here and there um, that you could set I on fire? Don't remember that now. Oh. Okay. Does this last forever, or? Yeah, it does. Extremely scary. Okay, so, um, <laughs> if you shoot four more eggs into the thing, it moves the platform further out. Wow. Uh, this is not, it's not indicated in any way, and there's other tolls like this in the level, and none of them have that type of thing to them, just this one. Great game design there. Stuff what? like that I'm okay with, uh, just kind of telling yeah. you, because it's like... What, what, what if we had a sign, right, that said, Toll 2... But actually, you have to put six in for everything that you need to get. Why? How are they going to know to do that? Uh, they'll buy the strategy guide. They'll miss out on that one mumbo token if they don't do it. <laughs> to be fair, there is some logic to it. Like, you might be like, oh, well, it extended it. Oh, I see. You might be like, oh, shooting two and extended it a bit. Maybe I just put more. I extended the height of my sink. Are you impressed? <laughs> That's from a uh, cancerous Undertale, right? Oh yes. Fucking piece of shit game that is. Uh, I can't really turn the camera in here, so I have to just. Yeah, no, not stuff. really. Get used to a lot of that in this level. <laughs> that was weirdly easy for this level. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not all of them in this level are hard. But, uh, Oops. Shit. Oh, cool. Cool. I assume I can't get back up. <laughs> like, from here. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, looks like you can. I think these notes are the only other thing of value in her. Alright. Really? It's like a shock pad, shock jump pad and stuff. Uh, well, I mean, go ahead and look around. There might be a mambo jambo. Look around at the world. That's your highest note score on this world. <laughs> I like how it roared but didn't do anything. See, like, I, I feel like what just happened was evidence that the You Don't Stop to Look Around song totally exists because the way that you sang it was, like, very slightly off-tune, as I corrected you. And, like, <laughs> the fact that I did that... I, I, like, I don't think I made it up. <laughs> I mean, the brain is really good at forging memories, but I believe you. I believe this song existed. 
I just wish I could find any evidence of it. <laughs> uh, it looks like I have to take like a aquatic exit. I always thought that this water would damage you. Oh, it's the- oh, okay, it's the oxygen. I think you told me about this. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh no! Bitch! How do I- how uh, do I- surface quickly. Oh shit. You need to really be careful with your air here, because, uh, getting to the top does not make your air stop depleting. Um, right, you I need to get to the that. water. Yeah. Basically, when you're underwater, you use air twice as fast, and when you're on the surface, you use it as quickly as if you were underwater in the whole <coughs> Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, you can definitely go ahead and try to save that dolphin. You just want to make sure you have, like, a full tank of gas before you do. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, well, let me, let me go ahead and save state, then. And on the second slot. Okay, um... So also, is it just me, or... Like, I I've been wanting to say this this entire playthrough, but, like, put the camera behind Banjo again. Is it just me, or, like, be due to the way that, like, the straps on the backpack are positioned, it looks like he's wearing an orange shirt, because it's, like, a lighter color than his head. Oh, um, I guess so. Did they change his model as well for the Tui? Uh, they might have. They definitely changed his voice. Oh. Huh. I haven't noticed that compared to what I'm used to from doing. Anyway, um, I know I don't oh. really have any underwater moves other than the usual stuff I started with. Yeah, it's just with. swimming. So I'm trying to figure out what it is I would actually need to do here. Is it perhaps just swim underneath this thing to... Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, do I need to follow the chain to the source? Yeah. Hopefully you will not die. Yeah, hopefully. I sure hope it does. If you flap and jump while you're in the water, kind of extend your air a little bit. <laughs> Am I not say okay. Yeah, you're not. It just takes a minute to restore. Wow, that was good. I sure did fucking yeah. hit that thing. Sure and that one. Like a stone today. <laughs> it mocks me with its smug visage. I fucking hit that thing! Bullshit. You, you fu you're you fucking watching me. You can see. I totally hit those things. I don't know. I think we should be enemies. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, weird. I, I'm oh surprised this music is playing in here. I figured this would be like the interior. But anyway, um... Well, it looks like that, you don't know uh, this game as well as you thought you did. <laughs> um... <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> as far as uh, finding the hole to like swim into the ship there where the anchor is, um, I always had the hardest fucking time doing that because my Why? TV was so dark to hit. Oh, I see. It was just like really hard to tell where it was. <laughs> so like with the with the chain there, yeah, I'll also just cleave through the. <laughs> <wall> <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> this dolphin's face is fucking glorious. It is pretty good. Yeah, when the chain's sticking out of it, it's not hard to find, but, uh... Most things in this game... Like, if it's a jiggy objective like that, it'll usually remember that you did it. So, like, if you... Um... If you get that jiggy and then, like, need to redo the level for 100% notes or something, it's a little harder to find where the hole is. But... Unless the anchor is actually still sticking out of it. I might be misremembering my dongle of. No, it's not. The surface first. I'm just remembering my dog alive. The reason I'm not flapping is I'm pretty sure when I jump back into the water, it will immediately deplete one, whereas here I have kind of a buffer, I think. No, I don't think it does that. Okay. Maybe I'm full of shit! Did you have to drop the fucking jiggy at the bottom of the sea? Um, of course. Of course! Should I put another fucking safe state up? Just in case. You don't need to. I mean, I guess I really don't want to fucking push my luck in this level. Yeah, I like that oil texture. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Why? Why what? I don't know, you, had, you did like a weird trajectory. It's, it's because I was like, oh shit, I got a surface, because I uh, went down in underwater too early, and then I'm like, nah, I'm close enough to the jiggy, so I kind of changed my mind. Yeah, the 
boil water on this level is kind of bullshit. It's scary. <laughs> Extremely scary. <laughs> Not that kind of scary. Not a fucking mic peaking scream scary. I did not realize that I actually peaked my mic when I did that. <laughs> but like, I, I fucking- oh, there we go. oh, for fuck's sake, no. I knew that was gonna happen. I fucking scared myself just re-watching it earlier. <laughs> it, uh, it was a lot louder than I expected. I had to re-watch that part like fucking 20 times to sync up the clip and everything. And why didn't you like just- why didn't you just make it quiet then? Uh, because that would have been cheating. I made the Zooks clip quieter. <laughs> Just for that extra uh, contrast. Also, that's uh, that's my British, my like weird British American hybrid shit going on from spending time around Americans. Because I said like, actually, I don't think that's an American. Never mind. I'm being stupid. That is just a British thing. Uh, where I said Boys. like, I said extra something, and then the something began with a vowel. And then I like added in an unnecessary like R sound. It's kind of hard to explain, but like if I say like water, I like we don't say the R in the end. It's like um yeah, it's like water. Water, yeah. But if there's um if there's like a word with a, a vowel at the beginning immediately after it, like after it, like and like I don't know water, water and wine, like often the R will appear there to bridge the um other what would otherwise be two vowels. Also, just a just attempt to fucking. <laughs> Grand pound what seems like something hazardous. Yeah. No. Is there anything uh, significant about the color of these things? No. Okay. Pebble. Uh, ninja. Yay. Changes. Fun times in Cleveland again! River so polluted that all of our fish have it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way to kill these things safely? With eggs, I guess. Uh, you can shoot them with eggs, you can wonder wing. Um, if you talon trot away from them, they'll not be able to catch up with you, and they do the blood eventually blow up on their own. Yeah, maybe, just, maybe well, just... I, like, I like that face that it's just making there. <laughs> it's reminding me of my uh, my square electrode. Oh god, I was actually I was literally thinking about that like an hour ago. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it was be okay. It was because I was rewatching the Hot Gold randomized streams, and in that, somebody in chat said something about Shock Cube, and you were like, "Oh god, Shock Cube." And for a second, I was like, "What shock cube?" And I don't think I actually remember what it is. But I was like, "Is that the is that the sharpened electrode?" <laughs> yeah, that thing was pretty good. That was from Fire and Omega, right? Yeah, yeah, it's because it just <coughs> really learned sharpened. Let me guess, this is on a timer. Uh, yes, a very tight one, actually. Okay, well, I'll uh, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that one. <laughs> also, do you want me to be pointing out, like, if you're passing by areas that have stuff and you didn't look? Or do you want to just kind of, like, do a sweep later? I didn't do a sweep later, so. Okay, so, what, would I basically have to follow this up and then drop down? Yeah. Okay. Like, you did the right thing, you just have to do it fast. Okay, I was just, make, I was just making sure I... That was, a, that, was a, that was a dry run, that was a dress rehearsal. Before you actually do it, um, yeah. go ahead and shoot eggs into this tall so you have a quick way back later. Okay. I probably should have, that makes sense. Oh, is every other one of them four? As well? No, they're, they keep going up. I think there's like an eight. Oh. Like... Okay, never mind then. Yeah, camera. Yeah, camera. <laughs> it's not as shitty as the Mario 64 camera. I haven't actually played the game, I just uh, I've heard that. Um, sh should I still I'm go do that other thing though? Yeah, it's up to you. If you want to finish up all the stuff on the outside of the ship, then that's like not a bad idea. Okay. 
I do like, I think, I think you've probably talked about this, either that or it's just well known enough that it's kind of in my consciousness, um, which is that banjo levels are quite clearly, or, almost always designed around like a set piece of some kind, um, where they'll have something in the middle of the level, both to be striking and memorable and also help you, help, help you navigate so you can remember where to go. <clears throat> I like that, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty distinctive. Like, not all of them have that, but, um... Like, I was thinking, I like, Treasure Trove Cove, I don't know, maybe the mountain? I mean, it, it, it kind of does, yeah, it has, like, a, the mountain in the center. Bubble Gloop Swamp house. doesn't really have one, unless you count the giant shark, that, the giant crocodile that makes all the rules. <laughs> Bubble Gloop, um, I always just remember as the center of the level is the part where you get attacked by all the golden flivets, and then it kind of, like, branches off into each of the sections. <laughs> Am I gonna get trapped under this thing? Okay, no. <laughs> Alright. Cool. First actual try. Uh, I don't want to be on the ship yet. I feel like that's a bad idea. I think I want to save that. <laughs> okay. Most of the stuff is on the ship, so uh, there was a ladder over by that toxic pool if you need to do that. Oh, so just, okay. Oh, or there's one just by the storage container or something. Sorry, the song is ridiculous. No, it's shape. fine, I understand. I think part of the problem is, like, I... When uh, when I'm doing that, it's like slightly desynced to the music on your end, so it's <laughs> yeah. like more <clears throat> It's gonna be a little bit strange on the recording. Like I don't really notice it personally. But, um, I'm on low health, right? Yeah. You do have 20 gold feathers. I don't know if you really need them here, but. I like the way that the the bees just kind of like drop and then bounce off the floor. <laughs> I saw a, I saw a post the other day where someone someone was like, "Hey, um, vegans, I get it, but also like, shut the fuck up about bees. Seriously, like, it literally doesn't hurt them to give us honey." And someone was like, "Don't you know they fucking <laughs> what was it? They like melt them." <laughs> to get extract their honey and people were just fucking making fun of this person for being completely retarded. It's like, no, that's not how they get honey. I don't know. I know they do it. something with like smoke to kind of like gas them into like... Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't hurt them. Yeah. And even if it does, they don't fucking oh melt God. them. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I like can't get into the right position to simultaneously hit the thing and not get hit. I know they do that with silkworms though. Oh yeah, silkworms get like boiled. Okay, what what do I do? <laughs> Is there any um, technique to this I'm missing? Not really. Um, if you get onto like the yellow crate and then just kind of like say fuck it and get onto the bridge and attack it from the left side, that might be easier. Or that works too. <laughs> I don't remember if I mentioned this, but uh the strategy guide that I had uh, said that, like, with these enemies, if you, like, do the, the beak attack before they even come out, they'll die as soon as they appear. And it's it, the way it said that, it, it, it would say it said that, and it was just like, sweet. And <laughs> that was the first time in my life I had ever actually seen the word sweet used in that context. <laughs> nice. All right, what time am I at? She's like, what do you mean it's sweet? I'm at 19 minutes, okay. <laughs> we can go for maybe five or six more minutes on this this one. Thunk. Okay, I guess that opens with something else. Oh, good. <laughs> I should have seen that coming, but I didn't, because I'm a fool. Oh, hey, I can climb into this thing as well. Yep. <coughs> But was there any point to? Ah! Those do only do one health, huh? Thought they did too. Believe, 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 believe it. Wait, 
anyways. Just just kind of town trot, make it chase you, and then run oh. away. Blah, blah, blah. Right, fine. All that. Okay. I like. I'm like okay. Yeah, I'm town like... trot towards him and then just immediately turn away. And apparently, I was already too close. So I don't know. Oh my fucking god. Okay, maybe I gave you bad advice. Yeah, random one up. Oh my fucking god. I like how it just ejects out of a crate. Yeah. Is there, is there literally nothing else in here? Just those notes, that was it. Oh, god. oh okay, I, I like already forgot that I collected those. Also, yeah, um, you, you can see that we have more eggs and feathers and stuff, because um, we did the... I got the missing... I put in the cheese and I got the missing Lombo tokens off screen, so... Um, the, the, I'll put a link to the half part in case you missed that. Welcome to the rest of the level. Okay, no, not really. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, okay. I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to disturb that guy. Seems like he's uh he needs some privacy. <laughs> They're saying oh, boy. So uh fun fact, um the word for hello and also for goodbye in Slovak is uh Ahoy. It's spelled A H A H O J, but um yeah, so whenever I'd tell nice people day. this as a kid they'd be like, Ahoy, are you a pirate? or some shit like that. I'm like, oh uh -huh, yeah. I've never heard that one before. Apple. That was good. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't get hit by that. Yeah, I'm surprised too. It's like this one time I uh, I met a kid named Juliet in one of my like classes when I was like seven. I'm like, I would make a Romeo and Juliet joke, but I assume that everyone makes that when they meet you. And she said yes. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Just acknowledging that. <laughs> God, that reminds me of um when I uh, when I was like talking with Fiona regularly. Um, I made some. I, I think I made like it, it wasn't related to her. I think so. Um, like I, this when I said this, it wasn't related to her at all. But I made like some kind of Shrek joke, and then oh. I was like dot dot dot. And I'm like. I assume people make Shrek jokes around you constantly. She's like, yes, all the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Frankie. I have a very generic name. I mean, it's derived from Jesus. I don't know if you knew that. I uh, learned that from a random, like, person that I called at the call center. <laughs> I felt the need to uh, share this with that. you. You're truly blessed. You must thank the good lord above. God, that just reminds me of when people would end the call with like, uh, God bless. Like, have a, have a, yeah, have a blessed day. That sounds and so we, fucking quintessentially we, American. We weren't allowed to say it back because like, <laughs> it doesn't matter if a customer said it. If we said it, it would be considered like a religious statement and we could get in trouble for it. Right. And the same, I mean, thing was, the same thing would happen if people said like Merry Christmas or Happy Easter. We yeah, could I've, not I've heard say about the whole thing with that. It's so stupid. Yeah. Anyway, it's um, like they could, they might complain about it. Right. Well, anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna leave the segment off there. Give my computer some time to cool off, and we'll come back in uh, just a few minutes here. So see you guys then. <laughs>